obviously today was, was a great day in a lot of different ways. Yeah. Derek Collins going out there, Brendan Hong going out there, that right. first start pitched very well for the five innings that yeah. you gave him the opportunity. Did you consider as the game was kind of widening to give him another one or was five the limit? We wanted five. We had we had a plan like the way it went down. The only yep. plan that changed was Draper was going to throw the ninth, and then when we really opened it up, Drew Hay, we gave him his debut, and I thought he pitched pretty well besides the leadoff right. homer. But you know, it, we had a plan with what we wanted to do if we took the lead, but we wanted to get BH at least four or five innings, and he was at 70 pitches, so we probably could have gone back out there. But he does what he does. He throws three pitches for a strike. You know, we got a big double play in the first inning that got him out of you know what could have been a bigger inning, but. Uh, he's a winner. He was a winner in high school. He's won his whole life, and um, you know he's just going to continue to get better. So. With a, with a, with a week that is busy, five yeah. games yeah. all together. Yeah. Concerned about the arms as you go through the rest of the week. No. So Brendan Williams wasn't with us last weekend. Right. Uh, his grand, uh, grandfather passed away, so he went home, took care of services. So um, he's going to start tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, Fusco and Quigley can come back with an inning. Draper didn't throw. Duke didn't throw today. So they're, they're, they're all, they all need an inning. We have plenty of arms. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's we're starting to figure out their – the guys are starting to figure out their roles. We're throwing a heck of a lot more strikes. Um, and they're competing for us. And you got guys out of the game once it got going. you got Gallagher out of the game. you got Prado out of the game. So that nothing bad could happen with a weekend coming up that's right. uh, I mean, rather they, big. They're a little dinged up, but yeah. we, we still need to make sure they're getting their ABs midweek. Right. And with tomorrow's iffy weather, we put them in the lineup today. Yeah. So we'll see what happens with those two tomorrow. But, uh, I mean, there's really not much drop-off when you have Fitzgibbons by. In addition, Jimmy Sullivan's been great. But, I mean, Fitzy is an elite defender. You know, he got a big hit there in the second inning. But it's... Uh, yeah, we're just trying to make sure that everybody's staying engaged. And obviously, games like this, you can get more guys in. And it's nice to be on this side of that kind of score. That's for and the sure. pinch hit home run from. I mean, Matt DiBenedetto, like I said, is not a greater teammate. And I said it to him out in the huddle. Of, of all the years I've been coaching, he's the greatest teammate I've ever coached. And came in here, he walked on, earned a spot. He travels on every trip, knowing that he's probably never going to play. But there's not a guy that has more respect from his teammates than that kid. He works his tail off. He's a 3A student in plastics engineering. I mean, he's the epitome of a, a, an unbelievable human being, and his parents have done a great job with, you know, with bringing him up. But his goal this fall, when we came back on paper, was I just want to get one college hit, one Division One college hit, and he certainly did that with a bang tonight, man. That ball was smashed, and I couldn't be happier for a great kid. The way they jumped off that bench, that that, that tells yeah. you everything you want to yeah, know, really. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's just uh, just a class kid, and it couldn't happen to, that way, it couldn't happen to a better kid, that's for sure. Good job. All right, thanks. Appreciate it.